Hey, hi, howdy, and hello, friends. It's Wickedy here. We are heading back into the chickadee farm to continue on the last few days of the fall. Well, I guess it's more like the last week. It's Sunday the 21st. Ooh, Sunday, Sunday. I love Sundays. Let's see. Rain on the island tomorrow. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, we've got um, stars today on a Sunday. I'm always happy with that. Oh, and our recipe is crab cakes. I'm gonna grab all the crabs that we can find. I love crab cakes so much. I'm gonna find grab all the crabs that we can find. Um, We should have quite a few here. Oh, I thought those were all gonna be ready today. I guess they're not. We'll pick all of these. Those will be ready tomorrow and we'll just leave them. Um, I think that should be all that we need for island ingredients too. So yeah, we'll grab all the crabs, we'll take care of all these pineapples, and then we'll head back to- ooh, everything's full. We'll head back to the farm um, to take care of a, a few things. And then maybe go spelunking, because we're getting a little bit low on ores. So spelunking on- ooh, perfect! Spelunking at the Skull Cavern will be very helpful for us for the next little while. I was gonna be here and grab a few more dragon teeth, but honestly, I think I'm just going to wait for another day for that. All right, so we need to sell 100 of these pineapples. So if we sell those two stacks, that should be 100, and then we'll save the gold star ones for us to eat, and those for cooking. Perfect. grab all of the crabs that we can. Alright, so we're getting close to being able to build an obelisk, and the first one that I want to build is the island one, so that's why I've been stocking up on all of those bananas, that's why I've been stocking up on these dragon teeth, because that's what we need, and it costs a million gold. That's just gonna save us, like, a headache. 27 crabs, nice. We'll grab 26 of those. All right, everything else here is looking pretty good. And grab this coconut. Can never have too many coconuts. 154. That is pretty great, actually. I don't know what I'm going to do with these dragon scale boots. So between the shoes that you can get, um... What is it? The boots that we have on right now is a custom tailored mermaid boots. I like having a little bit of immunity. The cinder clown shoes that you can buy from the dwarf in the mines here give you six defense and five immunity. I'd rather be dropped down one defense just so I can have three extra immunity. Um, I might switch that out later, but I don't know. What is your favorite boots to have and why? All right, a lot of stuff going on. We gotta clean up all this. Hey, buddy. Drop some slime off. Ooh, we have enough to make one slime. Press an egg. Here, buddy, this is for you. Good doggo. We can clear up all of those. And Robin is still working on the shed. I think I can move something while it's being upgraded, right? You know, that's a thing that I've never, like, really looked into. Can you move a shed while it's being upgraded? Like, I can go to the wizard's place and move some stuff around there. I'm wondering if I can move the shed while I'm there. We need to actually start um, oil making some sunflowers, too, so we can have some cooking oils. Oh, perfect! We got a dragon tooth from the... Stingrays? That's awesome. Finally, they're doing something worthwhile. <laughs> oh, we can sell all of our uh, row. H row now. Sweet. Oh, 
I don't think I'm gonna get around to getting to the desert today. I mean, we could still trade the jade. I think I have a oh desert warp totem, right? Do I? We'll just poof on over there a little bit later. We can craft that one new dish that we just learned, the tropical curry. Fantastic. And now we're pretty caught up, um, apart from the crab cakes. I only have six eggs, so I can only make six, but we're gonna make a few. And these duck feathers. <laughs> I could just start selling everything now. It's so great. I don't really need anything anymore. Sell, sell, sell. Anything, if I don't need it for a thing, it's just gonna be sold. Feels great. We have eight dragon teeth. Fantastic. Just two more to go and some money. I think I'm actually gonna start saving the things that we're gonna be using for our totems in this box that we have, this little dump box. This box is going to go, we don't need it here anymore. Um, I guess we could just leave it here for a little bit. It's just got decorative stuff. I'm gonna sell all these life elixirs too. I don't really use them anymore now that I have other things. Go ahead and craft ourselves a desert warp totem. And then all this driftwood, I'm going to be saving in here. We can start um, shipping down the driftwood too. So extras can go in there. Alright, what else am I doing with my day? Ooh, let's bring a um, Junimo chest over for the island. Or not for the island, for the place that we're going to. <laughs> we're going to be having these deconstructors with hoppers. I usually use hoppers just for my deconstructors, for the most part. <laughs> Alright, we have... One, two... Three, four... Five, six. There we go. And then we'll put a chest in here. And a chest in here and a ladder. And then we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I love deconstructing ladders because I like to have a very large excess of stone. I know it's, it's 7.40, so we're not gonna do like a whole lot of progress, but I can sure get a few things. Nothing crazy, but a few things. I'm gonna go ahead and trade for a couple of spicy eels to last us the day. All the rest of these. Perfect. That is quite a lot of ladders. And then in here, we're going to keep our extra Junimo chest. I do eventually need one more, but we don't need it today. We don't need that right now. Um, we don't need... Ooh. I guess we'll keep all those. No, we'll just use we'll use the the pineapples instead. So we have sashimi to go through, pineapples to back up. This is for getting home. This is for spicy or for speed speed. And that's for stuff. And that's for stuff. I like that. I love the burglar ring. We want the burglar ring. There we go. I'm wanting a lot of Omni Geodes if we can make that happen. That would be super great. fun. Let's go ahead and poof home. I don't really need anything else here. Uh, it was just like, just to see what I can get. We got actually a 
a purple slime egg, and we got four iridium bars from drops and uh, stuff, so that's super great. Um, we're gonna be making copper. Copper is what I'm lowest on. And then it's off to bed for me! Next, tomorrow is a brand new week. Oh, what was that? What was that? I forgot. Oh, that was the pineapples, right. <laughs> we sold a hundred pineapples. Fantastic. A hundred and one, but yeah. A hundred pineapples were sold, so that should be done too. And just in time as well. I think we had one more week now that I think about it. Alright, it's Monday the 22nd day of the fall. We got some jade ready. The iridium hoe is ready. Fantastic. Sunny and sunny on the stuff. Ooh, we got some stars today too. I'm gonna go ahead and have a crab cakes. That'll last us throughout the entire day. Ah, uh, so exciting. So great. We'll make sure to grab some more eggs to throw into the refrigerator so that we can have a good amount. And then I'm gonna start working on making some more crystallariums so we can get some more jade, so we can turn them into staircases, so we can turn them into stacks of stone, so we can make more crystallariums, and so on and so forth. Oh, it's tea season now too. Caroline sent us the recipe for solar panel. I believe our shed is done and ready, so we can start moving stuff over into that. The wine is ready too, which means I think the juice is going to be ready as well. Mm, the juice should be ready just a little bit later today, so I'm going to give it some time to catch up. Hey, buddy! Perfect! Got a blue slime egg this time. We'll just keep stocking those up for a little bit. The octopus wants something, and the stingray have given us a cinder shard, it looks like. <laughs> the cows are all moving at the exact same time, it's really trippy. <laughs> Did you hear that? Oh my gosh. I think they're all upset with me because I don't have any more grass. Uh, let's go check the board first and grab our, our iridium hole. Oh, I'm gonna grab some iridium bars so we can get our um, trash can upgraded too. Hey, Clint face! Yay, the iridium hole. Now, um, there are specific, um, specific enchantments that I like on each specific tool. For the pickaxe, I prefer swift over powerful if I'm not using animation canceling. And for this playthrough, we're not. We're just playing it vanilla, as vanilla as it'll get. And when it comes to the Aridium Ho, I like generous a lot. I think it's really nice. I don't need archaeologists because we pretty much have like all of the all of the artifacts we need. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. we're gonna go with fragments of the past because we really need to get that one. I can grab the bones and get that taken care of and that'll give me an opportunity to finish that monster eradication goal. Oh, be quiet you. <laughs> the monster eradication goal for the skeletons because we haven't gotten that done yet. Gus wants a ruby. Interesting. I do still need to go to the island and see what's on the board over there too. And then we need to move our buildings around a little bit. A hundred bones. I drop them off now, then I don't have to worry about it later. Ta-da! That's halfway done. Now we just have to actually like get this stuff. Oh, the island ingredients gave us 16,000 gold. Not bad at all. All right, is it ready? Yes, perfect. Um, what's the next thing? I don't really have any other buildings that I'm going to be building with Robin anymore. And so the next thing that we're going to start working on is 
the community upgrade, but it costs a lot of money, so uh, I'm not going to do it just yet. We're just going to move some stuff around. Okay, we want this one over here. I'll just let me find where I had my, my farm plan set up. The greenhouse is going to be moved down quite a bit, but I'm going to wait until I clean up all of that. This is going to be moved down like right here for the greenhouse um, because back here is where I'm going to be keeping all of my warp totems. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do with that. I would move it now, but I want to I want to save all of those. Um, I want to make sure that we save all of the uh, flooring pieces, because those are expensive to make. No, how much is the community upgrade? Half a million and a thousand gold. No. <laughs> I'm not that rich, Robin. I mean, I'm kind of rich, but there's things that I would much rather spend my money on. It's going to take too long. We're just going to have to poof. I don't want to, but we're going to have to. Uh, ugh. Ugh. Now we have to get a few more. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. Don't worry about it. And there are the last of the pineapples. Now, I am actually going to clear this row up. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna switch those to just like anything other than pineapples. They're gonna be star fruit here soon. And those ones I'm gonna leave and let them grow until all the rest of them are ready. So that they're all picked at the same time. Alright, let's go see what we have on the board over here. Please be something good, please be something good. Yes, finally! Danger in the deep! Absolutely. It's gonna make it a little tricky to get bones if we accept this, but it's fine. We'll get it. Danger in the deep is like one of my favorites, because as soon as we get this done, we'll be able to keep... Well, that in um, Skull Cavern Invasion, but we'll be able to keep the... Uh, Mines in a dangerous state. I'm excited. Being that we're having danger in the deep, I'm gonna go ahead and get um, one more Junimo chest if I can, because I'd like to have a Junimo chest over that way. In the regular mines, it's gonna make it a lot easier. Let's go ahead to the dig site and see if there's any bones that we can gather. Yes, artifact troves. Give me more. I got 15 bones. Not bad, not bad. decide on what flooring I want over here. I know we're going to be moving this. This greenhouse is going to be shifted quite a bit down. So I'm going to save my brick floors just because it takes a lot of clay. Well, I guess we're getting a decent amount of clay from um, the island, but still. If I could avoid having to craft more than I need to, that would be nice. And then we're going to go take a quick little trip down to in the mines. I don't think we're gonna need any of that today, but we have it. Um, this is always a good one. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. That's what I've been wanting. We have our first radioactive ore. And enough to make a bar. I just need a little bit more. 
<gasps> Ooh, anytime you see one of these guys during the dangerous mines, be sure to slay them. Key gem, perfect. And they can drop like other things too, which are really great. Crates are super important to harvest from. Hey, buddy. A radioactive bar, awesome. Um, we got to level five and I'm just gonna get on out of here. It's definitely really helpful to have a chest or two up here because when you hit these dangerous mines, you get a lot of loot, like a lot, a lot. I wish I had one more radioactive ore, but we'll get some more probably tomorrow. So that's probably going to be what we're going to do for the next few days is just hit this place up a few times until we get to the bottom. Must stop. I'm going to head on to bed. Is that really all that I have left to ship? Oh, I need to ship a, a rabbit's foot too. Never mind. Just used all my rabbit's feet for gifts and things. And off to bed for me. Yeah. And of course, another 350,000 gold in wine and bits and pieces. Perfect. Yay! Fall is coming along just great. <laughs> it's a Tuesday. Sunny and sunny. Great. We have neutral luck, which is also fun. I guess it's fun. <laughs> um, what do we have here? Oh, perfect. The cheese is all done. The wine is all done. We're going to clear this whole place out um, and redo all the cheese. So we have all of that and switch out all of this wine down here. So all of the gold star ones are actually um, star fruit wine. So we want to clear all of those out. I just feel like making wine into full iridium quality wine is just not really worth it. And I usually just do cheese in here. I feel like cheese is definitely worth the time a little bit more because it only takes uh seven days i think it's like one week now you could just turn and burn this a lot faster so we're gonna be trying really hard to get ourselves to the bottom of the the mines the new bottom of the mines now if we can um uh, a few things in the greenhouse. This is going to be working on getting um, crystallariums in there and things like that. We have over a million gold. Now I just need the dragon's teeth in order to make the warp totem I'm looking for. So I still have to wait just a little bit for that. All right, we have our first radioactive stuff. I'm going to hold off on selling radioactive ores for our shipping sheet until I have quite a bit more, I think. We do need a bunch more bones for Gunther, but it, it shouldn't be too hard once we get to um, the correct levels of the mines. Hello animals! How are all of you? Hope you're eating okay and you're doing well. <laughs> uh, yay, ostrich number two. So our first one is named Orville and I just really like this name, Oswald. Now we are not gonna be doing any more ostrich eggs. Our barn is completely full so we can deconstruct that. Ah, uh, there's a rabbit's foot. We can sell that, fantastic. I'm actually going to grab all of these extra weapons that we have just sitting in this box. We're going to sell them at some point, so um, I think I'm going to bring them on over. Not, Yeah, we can sell the space boots. I don't need them anymore. I'm going to save the dragon scale boots, though. I like those ones. And the dwarf hammer is really great, but there's a different hammer that I prefer, so we'll sell that, too. All right, the next thing that we're going to work on, like, getting crafted, apart from a whole bunch of preserve jars for in here, which I think it's time. Yeah, it's time. Um, our crystallariums. We're going to make a ton of crystallariums and start filling out that extra shed that we have with them. I'd like a ton. We'll sell pickles and cheese and go ahead and sell this rabbit's foot. 
And then let's go ahead and sell this caviar. And then all we have to do is sell this and one ore. And that should be it for all of our shipping. As soon as that's done, that's done. Come on, open up, open up, open up. Hey fellas, please buy this, that, 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 space boots, those, and the dwarf hammer. Thank you. Let's check this out. We need a few more void spirits, some more skeletons. We'll run into both of those as we go. And then pepper rexes and magma sprites. Cool. Only 20 more magma sprites. That's not bad at all. All right, the rest of the day, we're going to be hustling down and getting as far down the mines as we can. Oh my gosh, why is it so hard to find the ladder on this level? Look at this stack of slimes. Three, four, five. That's a lot. That's one of the tallest slime stacks that I think I've personally seen. I think out of all of the monsters that you can come across in these mines, these are my least favorite. I hate them so much. I would much rather deal with like the spiders or like anything else <laughs> or even those like ghosts that make you throw up. I would deal with those any day over those squids. I hate the squids. hit me like 83 oh my gosh these guys hurt good. <laughs> See, once you come across these squids, there is no reason for you to hold on to midnight squid or have any sort of squids in a in a fish pond because you get so much, so much squid ink. All right, we made it to level 30. No more stinking <laughs> squids. Uh, wait, do you have squids in the 30s? I don't remember. Maybe you do. I'll find out tomorrow. In any case, let's grab this stuff that we need and um, get on out of here. We got, we got a lot of stuff. <laughs> My speed boost is still zooming. We got a lot of stone from today too. We just have to sell one radioactive ore and that should be everything. Everything else we're just going to drop off. Yes. And then it's off to bed. Should get that achievement done too. Yep. There it is. Full shipment. I do believe. I'll have to check. Mining 3,000 from a bar and 300 from the ore. And we sold a rabbit's foot and we sold the caviar as well as like all that other stuff. Yay! Alright, so the 24th day of the fall. Let's see how far in the... <laughs> yes, we got to the Iridium trash can is ready. Our, um, we, we finished shipping everything. We will eventually need to ship 15 of every single crop. Like garlic, potatoes, uh, cauliflower, green beans, you know, things like that. Um, we could work on that later. It's not important. It's not needed. It's not for 100% perfection. I just like to do it because I like to get all achievements. We have neutral today and I'm going to eat this crab cakes. We're getting to the portion of the mines where I need to make sure that we have some ginger or ginger ale on me. Because once we get to the 40s, that's where it gets a little spicy. Let's see, computer. Anything I need to know today? Crops only seven. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We don't have to worry about any of that then.
Ooh, quite a few fruits are done. I'm gonna need to go and grab our, our um, seed makers from the island at some point. Also don't remember exactly what day of the week my star fruit's gonna be ready. Should probably look into that. We are super close to having this place completely filled out. <laughs> My baby ostrich. It's so cute. So cute. All right, let's grab some ginger. Ginger, ginger, where are you? I think we have some in the fridge. Should, right? One of the fridges. Yeah, we got some ginger. Just five should do it, I think. Head to town. Gus hat. Or not Gus. Clint gave us the Iridium trash can, which is much better. We'll get 60% back of cost of anything that we throw away, like uh, this algae. And now, just please upgrade my watering can, and that's the last one that I need. Perfect. Once that's done, I'll feel much better. Head on back to the mines. We're heading to the 30s. Which is fun. <laughs> it's not as dark because we have all this light from our rings. But these are usually my least favorite levels. Although they've been pretty good to me lately. Um, I think it's neutral luck today, so I don't really know what our staircase situation is going to be like. Perfect. Now it is where <laughs> it gets a little spicy down this way. Um, I think everything here is something that we can get at some point. Let's go ahead and keep all of this down here. I like to see what new stuff I get, so I like to keep my top bar pretty clear. And then I do like to keep track of how much stone I get. It's just weird like that. All right, we don't have to worry about the, the ghosties for another, like, 10 levels. And you can get a lot of hardwood from here. I usually don't worry about it all that much. Ooh, stick bug. Is there one of the... Oh my gosh, I'm stuck. <laughs> Those are, I hope there isn't anything I need down here. It doesn't look like it. But those are one of the rarest monsters that you can find. Now it is time for the spicy levels. Just call it spicy because these ghosts and there can be a ton of spiders, which can make it very scary. If you just hit it before he, he shoots you or you just move out of the way, you should be pretty good with these ghosts. Let him shoot and then move. Ooh, I got hit by that one. Ugh. Oh, he got me. Um... We're good though, we're good. I didn't get the debuff. The nice thing is that I have these boots on that have eight immunities, so that's gonna help me out a lot with these guys. Is there no staircase? I must be missing a rock or something because I don't see it anywhere. this out. Nothing. I guess good thing we have these stairs. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, that's it. I'm gonna get out of here. It's one o'clock. I got hit by the debuff. I could eat this ginger, but I'm not gonna. Um, I'm gonna leave the ginger here for when we come back. I got a quite a bit of stone, quite a bit of other things. I don't think I got any iridium or not iridium. I didn't get any radioactive ore, which is fine. I mean, we'll get it more later. I have a lot of stone. That's so great. How many, um, let's see how many crystallarms we can make. We can make 11, mostly because of how much uh, iridium that we have. So we really have to stock up on a lot of iridium. I have a good source of being able to get a lot of gold bars um, if I'm willing to spend the money. So we're going to have to do some iridium stuff here soon. Then off, drop this off and these algae and head on to bed. Hooray. Perfect. Oh, I'm so happy that finally, after all this time, we finally got that danger in the deep quest. Yes, it's going to be making things so much more fun. I love it. Oh, and the year is almost over. Exciting. Alrighty, friends. Thank you so much for hanging out with me in the chickadee farm, and I'll see you next time. Bye.